and welcome to the interior of the Cabaroo. Oh, allow me to give you a brief glimpse at what we're dealing with here. So this is my project track car. It's a Ford car, but it is running a Subaru engine and all-wheel drive running gear. And there's a bit of wiring to uh, take care of. So, Ansel uh, sent me an email saying they wanted to send products for testing and they gave me a list of things I could pick from and I decided to pick their uh, power probe circuit tester and there's a reason for that so this isn't my first of these kinds of circuit testers I bought one oh, a while ago before I started this project and, and it arrived and it worked and it worked right up until the end of its warranty period and then one day I was using it, uh, it, left, well, it, was, it was outside its warranty period by, by then and I energised a relay and it jammed on uh, ground forevermore and ever, every reading after that was ground and it was absolutely useless by this point. The only thing I kept from it was these, these extension cables and the cable for connecting it to the battery and the cigarette lighter. That was all that survived of the previous version of this power probe. So, I am intrigued to see if this version, which is all in black, uh, lasts any longer than uh, the previous one. So this is their PB100 circuit probe. Uh, basically, it allows you to test circuitry and energise components which i will hopefully show you in a moment for that to make sense here is the plastic box that you receive you know, obviously get a big long extension cable that plugs into the big long extension cable that's already on it which i have found is rather handy see for the things like the pickup the hilux this user doesn't reach front to back and i mean like the back back where the tow bar connection is so it is actually handy to have uh, the long long cable and you get obviously the cable that plugs in the circuit layer and the one that clicks directly on the battery. Now, as I say, the previous version of this died in about uh, like 12 months and it, it, that was it, it was died. Here is, and some of you maybe, maybe even recognize these, here is my original, I think this one was a Sealy brand Super Probe. Now, when I first uh, started kind of mechanicing and car DIYing uh, with my dad, who's a mechanic all of his years. Um, uh, he bought me this and I think this was like £70 when I got it. And that was a lot of money for, you know, for the, the DIY, not DIY, but you know, for a young boy. And it, it still works. It still works. It still beeps when it... If it blinds, that's positive. That's a negative sound. So, like that, you just test things and you don't even have to see it. You can have it stuck in front and energise something. And you hear doing that, you go, yes, it's got a positive signal. Now, this is so old, it doesn't have LED lights. It has, in, in one of these done the one, in, 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 incandescent bulbs. Look, there are incandescent bulbs inside there. Actual incandescent bulbs. That's how old this is. And this is still going, I mean, this this is now 15 plus years old. This is how long this has survived. And let's see, the, th the orange thing attached to this didn't last a month, uh, didn't last a year. So we've got high hopes, no high hopes, we've got some hopes of this working. So here is the probing head and I didn't need to read instructions because I've had one before. And in there lives the tip and you have to jam the tip right in. Because the inside connection of this on the probe end is quite deep. So like, if you put that in there, that's not actually connected at all yet. You've got to push that bad boy deep, deep down inside without stabbing yourself uh, in the hand with this bit. And it's, uh, here is she tied fit. There it goes. Right, so that is it actually now seated onto the connection. Allow me to unfankle some of these wires. And there, plug that in there. Du, 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 du. As I say, right, you've got a red and a black, and red and a black straight on your battery terminals. I won't show you that because the battery of the uh, Cabaroo is uh, deep in the 
Oh, deep in the back there. I have misty tie. Alright, I will connect this. Well, I'm going to connect one to the battery and one to the body because there's not enough room for everybody in here. I'll put that one on there. That one on there. Someone. Oh god, I hope that's attached. Right, and you can go on here. And hopefully, they should have lit up. Yay! And you see, let me get that out of the, out of the way. It has lit up and it should now be showing zero volts and the LED lights on the top have come on. Uh, this red button here, uh, this goes through the modes. So I'll go back to start so you can see. Not exactly responsive either. So, voltage DC, most useful in your uh, automotive vehicles. Voltage AC is, it's not for testing mains voltage, it's for testing components like uh, if you want to see motors or outputs of device which don't give a straight DC voltage. Because on there, there's a maximum minimum voltage and the frequency in hertz, so you can actually see, like if it's a, a, a PWM circuit, you should be able to see the hertz of it doing something, and I haven't actually got anything PWM in here at the moment. Uh, next one is uh, resistance, so you can test resistance of components, for example, again, for example, motors, etc. Things that should have uh, a resistance that you know, or perhaps even something like a, a glow plug, like if you're expecting a really low uh, uh, resistance for your glow plug, when it's really high, so you know it's fucked at that point. That's also another test, you can do a spark test on glow plugs, but that's for another day. Uh, and the other one's a diode test for making sure diodes one way and not the other. So if I was to press this against uh, a ground source, is this ground? No, no, oh, that is. Oh, that is horrible. Can you hear that noise? That is the ground noise. Okay, that's going to confuse me. I am used to a continuous tone uh, and positive. Oh, that is... Dog shit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not. I'm not even gonna like that. What a fucking terrible design! Right. Positive. Ground. Right. That's 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 terrible. Like here's our comparison. Right. Pushing forwards on this toggle switch makes it do. Is it is it positive? Okay. That gives you a positive tip. Listen. Okay. That's the beep for positive. And you push the switch back, is the, the and you get a negative. That is a negative. Compare that to my fifteen-year-old silly tool. Positive. Negative. You cannot get those two fucking tones mixed up. You cannot mistake this beep for this beep. Instead of. Chirpy chirp. Kind of beepy beep. So imagine the scenario. You've poked your probe in. Somewhere under the dashboard or outside that you can't see. You energise your component via the switch because you want to know if it turns on. And from somewhere in the car you can hear. You know that's a positive signal. You absolutely know. 100 fucking percent that's a positive. You do the same thing. You can't see this. You have, you have, uh, you, you've plugged in. You're going to energise your component. You hear this noise. And you're like, uh, so which one of the two is that? <laughs> Bear in mind, granted, right? If you were using this all day, every day, you, I, I guarantee you would probably have memorised the beeps that it makes. But like us, like you and me, we're DIY, we're only going to fish this out every now and again. And to have this somewhere you can't see it and go, is that the positive or the negative tone? Is that the positive tone? Is that... Is it? I can't see on the screen. Oh, that's the positive tone. Right, marvellous. Right. Ugh. Right, so you've lost points for that already. So, one of the uh, things you can do with this, obviously, you can energise components. It does have a ground lead attached right onto the base of here. So, this, this provides you with a ground source. As you can hear from the beeping. Which means you can plug that on to give something ground and then energise the rest of it with the tip. Which is what we're going to do with the electric window uh, connection over here.
Uh, I might just put this on the floor just now. To the floor! So, the, this is my electric window over here. My electric window. Uh, the buttons are absent, as, as is the well, wiring, funnily enough. So, uh, I should be able to take, take, you, take you down. Take you down somewhere. And I will, I will zoom in, hopefully, on the uh, wiring. Let me see if I can uh, do this. One, none handed. Right. Uh, join me down here. So these, these wires here, these are the various wires for this uh, door. <laughs> these, uh, right, yeah, this is the original Ford wiring. I've just cut the ends off the wires. And at some point, I'm going to have to find the Subaru uh, wires to make the windows go up and down. Or I might buy a separate module to make the windows activate. Now, I know it's some of these wires. There's of, I'm going to guess that there's two for the door lock. And two to make the electric window go up and down. But at the moment, I cannot remember which one is which, so I will be as surprised as you are if this test works. So, our first test I'm going to do is this in shot, mostly. I'm going to set this to ohms. That one. And that one. And I'm going to connect this half to one of the wires. This wire, this uh, crocodile clip, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, it's very slidey. Right, crocodile clip on here. I'm going to do a resistance test on this one. Go. Uh, no resistance. No resistance. And continuity of basically zero. A continuity of zero. Ah, uh, in shot. Continuity zero and beeping. Why is it beeping? I'm doing a. Mm, of course, it's beeping because it's seeing its own ground, isn't it? Yes. Okay, right. So, so that one and that one. The two purple, purple, yellow, purple, green. Well, that makes kind of sense, doesn't it? Two purples together. Okay, so now I should do a continuity test of orange, green, and white and black. Do I have continuity on these ones? Why, yes, I've got nine, nine K. Can we see the 9K on the screen? 9K. 8K. Uh, so that would make me think that's possibly the motor. So we will switch this over to energizing mode. And forward is a positive tone. So does this make it go window down? Nope. And I've incorrectly identified it. I heard the doors click. So the door lock has... Are high resistance and the electric window has almost zero resistance. So if I put that on there and then put this on here and energize it with a positive, the window will the window will either go up or down. Uh, right, you can see we're basically directly connected and right that was up. If I put the probe on the other side, I can now energize this side. I'm in shot, mostly. And energize. Hey, window goes down. Up. Oh. Yay. Swap them over. Window goes down. Smash. And obviously I have to connect it back up the other way to make the window go back up. So at least I have identified purple as the uh Oh, the power wires for the electric window. So, that is that. Um, I don't actually have anything... Oh, AC, well, AC voltage, but... A free, I can use the frequency counter, there's no... I don't have anything to test in here, unfortunately. Let me zoom you back out. So, yeah, like I said, basically you're doing that by pressing the... Uh, toggle switch there, which, when you press it up, it gives you a 12 volt tip. The same, the 12 volt directly from your battery goes to the tip, which allows you to energize things. 
Now, if this is the same, the exact same as the other one, I'm sure it has a bit in the uh, instructions where it says you shouldn't energize things with the switch, which is pretty dumb. Uh, what I mean is, what it wanted you to do is to activate the switch first, or you would pre activate the switch and then touch your component, but that's that's not a great idea if you're digging about inside and you want and you might uh, activate the wrong thing. As I always stab it into where I want it and then activate the thing. Uh, I was hoping there was uh, like a uh, oh, there's a diagram. I'll show you that. That's a good. That's a good diagram to. So, um, for it, signal testing. So this is what I want to show you with the AC voltage. Uh, you set it to AC, and then it lets you see like square waves from sensors because that that is technically an AC uh, voltage. So you build a test sensors to see what their uh, pulse output is. Oh, an ABS speed sensor. That that would be a good uh, test on that. Plug your probe. In the end, stab in and then spin a wheel, and then you would see the you know the sensor uh, peaks and troughs of an AC wave, rather than just a pure um, you know DC D positive or DC voltage. But that 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 is is um, practically it. Uh, yeah. So what can it do? Right. It's supposed to allow you to output a ten amps in the tip. Uh, what we got? Rating one to ten amps. Testing standard, one hundred percent. Hold for more than one hour. So that means it can do ten amps. So it should be able to do ten amps for one hour, and thirty amps for about four seconds. Wouldn't really want to run um thirty amps through, well, anything. I mean, like. Something like a, a glow plug, like you just want to test it and see if it heats up a little bit and then if you know it's mostly working. But that's, that's that. So, it works, yes, it does, it absolutely does the thing where you touch it on the stuff and it shows you or makes you... It's not very fast though. Uh, it's okay, I mean, uh, picking up. So here's a comparison, right? I'm going to touch it to ground and then we'll see how long it takes it for it to actually give you the ground signal. Right. Touch. No. Oh, touch. And stop. Touch. What's that like? Half a second? 15 year old silly power probe. It's absolutely instant. Ah, there is no delay whatsoever in you touch to sense. So, which one would I rather have in my toolkit? Uh, both. Can I have both in my toolkit, please? I should say, the Sealy one does have an, uh, an L one LED in it. It's the one that changes colour. Oh, you, no, you have to go to a funny angle to see the inside. Because oh, it's kind of falling off inside. But it goes green, green and red. Red's important, but if you can see the red light. And it does, oh there's a green, you can see it now. And that one, the screen changes colour between red and green. I mean, it works. It does. It does the thing. I'm, but well, I say, I'm sure this was like seventy pounds uh, fifteen to twenty years ago, and I've no idea how much this is. I, I don't know. No, the one I bought must have been like in the seventy pound bracket, because I wasn't ready to spend five hundred plus pounds on an actual power probe or super probe what are they called the one the red one that does like everything but believe me i have been tempted i have been tempted so what are my final thoughts on the ansel power probe 100 uh, it does the job it does the thing and yes it's nicer nice to have an all-in-one device i don't need a multimeter as well to go and do Frequency and resistance is kind of handy having it all in one device. I just don't like the tones they chose. Why? Why could you have made it two absolutely distinct tones so there was never going to be any confusion between ground and positive? Instead, we got ground and 
positive so yeah i don't i, I don't like that well now it appears to be made of fairly robust plastic we'll see how long that holds up i don't think this is any way shape or form waterproof and it definitely doesn't look waterproof i can see in i can see inside through the beeper hole it's not waterproof so don't get it wet but as it does it comes with a an immense length of wire there's like monstrous lengths i would look up but this like can't be like 10 plus meters of cable at least and nice bright working leds i have to give it that over my old sealy's uh, incandescent bulbs the uh the leds are pretty bright i can actually see underneath the dashboard where i'm going and and yeah uh so i'm gonna leave a link to this in the description if you're interested in buying one you know use my link it helps the channel buy other things and hopefully you might be lucky in the mind get a discount code and i can put a discount code in there as well and we'll see if we can get a discount code in this but yeah handy to have but i'd rather it beeped in an absolute way that was indistinguishable between positive and negative and i shall leave you with that any comments questions anything else leave them down below and as always thanks for watching